guys, it's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure view, and today we're taking an Elite Series 96. We have Shinsuke Nakamura, and first time in the line, Dewdrop. These figures are now available and shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. As always, use promo code 4LIFE, it'll save you 10% off your order over there. So, both these figures do look great. Obviously, Dewdrop, again, first time in the line. And it's been a while since we've got a Shinsuke Nakamura. I remember when the images were released of, of King Shinsuke Nakamura. I was pretty excited. You know, all white gear really does pop. Something very different. Uh, and the nice cloth uh, jacket. I'm kind of curious to see how that was executed in hand. So definitely excited to get that out of the box. You can see he's got his Shinsuke posing hands as well. Dewdrop does come with a soft goods jacket too. So uh, again, very excited to have these really you know looking forward to seeing what these figures are all about but taking at the figures in the package and you get your standard elite box the image of each wrestler on the front with a nameplate flipping over to the side you got the nameplates all the way to the other side you got the awesome images of each wrestler same on the back as well as the read up and the other figures in the wave let's come back and get both these guys out of their packaging Starting us off, we are taking a look at the first time in the line Dewdrop Elite figure. And her accessories do include a set of open mic holding hands. She also does come with this nice soft goods jacket. You'll see on the figure itself, the sleeves do roll up a little bit. That is nice. Got a little open uh, cut here on the sleeve. Looks awesome. Uh, very simple, very plain, but it's got a nice kind of fabric to it. Very soft. Uh, does fit her really good. And removing that off the figure. We'll take a closer look at it before we move on to the figure itself. And it sits kind of nicely underneath her hair, so it holds it in place and doesn't seem to really get in the way. But anyways, here's the jacket. Nice silver on the inside, kind of like a, a charcoal gray. Got a nice color here at the collar. Looks really good. I do like how that uh, came out. It looks kind of premium. Uh, the figure itself. So remember, there is a chase version. She does have an alternate gear. This is the regular version of her in the blue. You can see she's got the nice coloring on the hair. And again, unique figure. I do like uh, these type of female characters. You know, not cookie cutters, not the same body mold we use over and over again. So that is kind of nice with the Dewdrop figure. And I do like the blue, how the color really does pop. She's got the purple here around the top part. Got the opening here, kind of a little bit of a raised kind of molded uh, molding to it. Taking a look at the back, you see the black coming up underneath. I do like that little attention to detail. She's got the fishnet stockings as well. Again, she's more of a, a bigger lady. She's got more size to her. So this is more of a fun one. You see she's got the plain black boots. Nothing too crazy there. And then her gear is, is very simple, but the color itself really does pop, especially with the, the colors on her hair to match. And the head scan looks pretty good. Great likeness to Dewdrop. Kind of like a stoic, kind of confident, arrogant look. I do like how that came out. Looks really nice. Taking a look at the hair, how it kind of parts in the back. Got the curls going down on the front. Looks awesome. Uh, she does have the double jointed pinless elbows. I do like that. It seems to be a staple in the Mattel line going with all these different elites. But this figure did uh, come out really good. Moving on to some quick figure comparisons. Just to give you an idea of how Dewdrop stacks up versus some other uh, WWE figures. We have Dewdrop versus a basic Scarlet. The newest Survivor Series Elite Becky Lynch. And how about a AEW Supreme Brit Baker? Next up, we have King Nakamura. Yeah, I wish I had that Rick Boogs voice, but unfortunately I do not. So, but anyways, the accessories he does come with are a set of mic holding hands. He comes with this awesome cloth soft goods jacket. It's kind of got like a little bit of a leathery material to it. Got the nice gold little buttons on there. Nice designs continuing on the top. You can see that. I like how it's kind of cut open in the front. Looks really good, man. Just again, this looks very Nakamura esque, of course. This is the jacket he wears, but a lot of times these jackets are kind of hard to capture in figure form, especially the soft goods. So I think Mattel did a nice job. This looks really good. There is the Velcro on the front here. Opens up really nice. Again, it's got a nice collar to it, too, but removing the jacket itself. Uh, this should be pretty easy since there are some cuts on the actual sleeves maybe not i'm just gonna <laughs> remove the arms i've learned my lesson because i tried doing this um with the cm punk hoodie on that unmatched figure and i tore the sleeve so i'm not even gonna play with this anymore i'm just gonna pop the hands off you know these toy companies allow us to do that so but unfortunately I, sometimes i just don't learn my lesson so <laughs> caught myself in the moment but 
get the hands back on. Again, you get the Shinsuke gesturing hands, which are a must. Really, I feel like takes this figure to another level. But I didn't want to look at the jacket off the figure. Again, it looks really nice. Just nice material. I'm very impressed with a lot of the soft goods included in this set. Looks really awesome. Uh, additionally, you can see the white paint he's got on his armbands. Fortunately, a little white paint bleeding on his elbows, but not too bad. He's got the double jointed elbows, the nice torso, which to me looks perfect for Nakamura. I really do like how that came out. And the white pops so well uh, with figures like this. It's rare you see uh, like an all white attire. So I feel like it really takes the figure like to another level because it just looks so clean. The crown is removable. This has a nice kind of like bronze gold finish to it. it looks really good i do like the design you see the little black shading on the inside with the silver continuing on the side that is really nicely done i mean i'm not a big fan of these king gimmicks but uh this crown does look awesome and it fits on him like a glove like perfectly no struggle no fight at all uh this head scan to me looks so freaking spot on man got the nice stubble on there with the the beard looks really good i do like how that came out you can see the hair off to one side the nice shaved head just such great detail man to this you know obviously bill's a big nakamura fan so uh he was gonna knock it out of the park regardless and the attire the pants you know it's something we've seen before same old um used over and over again he's got the gold kind of bronze finish for the belt painted around i do like that it's molded on there it just takes the figure to another level uh, and the rest is just the all-white attire nothing too crazy but again just so freaking clean absolutely love how it looks and in case you're wondering I do have an icy title. If you guys want to see what that looks like around his waist, will it fit? Because that's something I was curious. And getting the belt on there. Do you have Nakamura with the Intercontinental Championship belt as well to complete the look? Moving on to some figure comparisons, we have what is probably my favorite Nakamura in my collection, the Ultimate Edition Series 2. Got the beautiful red attire, but I will say this head scan just looks really clean and i'm curious to see how this head looks like on the ultimate so we will pop it off real quick and just do a quick head swap oh man that is that is sick dude to me that looks so clean this is probably uh the best nakamura head scan again these early ultimation heads were not bad different era of nakamura but really do like how that looks and in case you're wondering let's throw the ultimate head on the new Elite 96. If I can get it on there, it is a little snug. Give it a little force. There we go. That doesn't look too bad either. It seems to sit on there uh, pretty well. But again, there are some options. I honestly may take this head and just keep it on my ultimate. It looks so sick. And before we wrap up here, if you guys haven't already, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. For the guys new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this video review. Hope you guys will subscribe and stick around for more figure reviews coming up down the road. Don't forget to follow me on my other socials at uh, Alex West Collects on Instagram and TikTok. I put a bunch of great figure content on there, as well as first looks, you know, br uh, brand new pre-orders or breaking figure news. Make sure to check me out on all my socials for all that great content as well. As far as these two figures go, I'll be honest, was I excited to have um, an Elite Dewdrop in my collection? No, I'm sorry, it really wasn't. But the figure, I'll be honest, in hand looks pretty freaking sick. Again, there is a Chase version to this figure. She's a Chase in Elite 96. But the colors really do pop. And again, a female character who has some different proportions really will stand out. Uh, very unique mold. I do like how this figure came out. So no complaints on the actual figure there itself. Just the excitement to me, for me, wasn't really there. Nakamura, man, they knocked it out of the park. This is me. I... It's teetering on maybe my favorite Nakamura. I think I may actually like this one a little better than the Ultimate Edition. The head scan is spot on. I included the Intercontinental Championship belt. Really puts them over the top. Just love the white and gold. That really does, you know, really has some nice contrast together. And, of course, we're getting uh, Rick Boogs and Elite 98. So, they're going to pair well together. I cannot wait to have him in my collection. But, uh, you know, highly recommend bo both these figures. Again, Elite 96 is shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. Use promo code 4 life It'll save you 10% off your order at checkout. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review, and I will catch you on the next one.